I'd like a quick question um, for uh, coefficients and bases. The coefficient is just something that's being added to the base, basically. Multiplied. Multiplied. By the base. Well, multiplied by the base. Yeah. So. Definition-wise, is the thing that's being raised to a power. 5y is the base. Right? And officially, what's the exponent? I mean, sorry. Yeah, the exponent. 3. That's amazing, though. What is the coefficient? No. 2. So that's kind of a messy one, because you could argue that 5 is the coefficient of what's inside, but what's the coefficient of this little term, the way it's written, too? And you can simplify this. Let's see. 5 cubed is the road that gets us to gross month. 125. <laughs> and then what's y cubed? Well, I think it's y cubed. And then what do you mean double this? So now if I write it in this form, what's the coefficient? Obviously, 250. What's the base? Y. And the exponent. Is the version that didn't do anything to the y cube? It did. To, what was it? It was y. Right. What is it now? Y cube. So it's you, you don't you don't double that. Double what? Oh, I did. Two. All right. The, the two did you cube? No. No. Why not? Why didn't I cube the two? Because the cube only works on this guy. Mm -hmm. This is two times that. Now, coming back to Spencer's question, real quick. What is 2 times 3 times 4? How do you do that? But you can't do this. You guys with me? Is that equal to 6 times 8? No. That's silly. That's shit. Right? Because you can't double the 3. Where's the other doubling coming from for the 4? There's only one 2. So there's only one 2. <laughs> So what am I going to double? The thing that I actually can. Mm -hmm. I like. It. Sorry, Spencer. Spencer. No, I'm no, sorry, no. I asked. I but no, it's a beautiful question. It happens a lot. So I'm not just attacking you. It's just a really good general question. There's only one two. It can only get a one thing. So what do I put it on? The thing I can actually do something with. Yeah. I could write this as 125 times 2y cubed. But what good is that? So let me put these together instead. That makes more sense. Okay. So 203 in section, or this chapter, well, is it chapter 5? 5.4. All right, so this is from the last test, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to do that right now. It's not oh, okay. consistent yeah. with you, yeah. where we're at. Is there anything else from chapter 6 stuff? All in all, no stuff. All right. So let's finish this little paper. What did we... I know we did number 1. We might not have done... Yeah, we did number 2 also. <coughs> do we do the second number 1 there, then? So this guy here... What property happens there? Distributed. And so then, and again, just to remind you guys, you don't have to be able to do it all at once. You've got to do 4x times 5x. If it helps you, write that down. Plus 4x times 3. And then you can worry about what those are in the next step. Nobody has ever said you have to be able to do all the steps at once. Now, at the same time, I'm obviously not saying that you have to do this. If you could do 4x times 5x, what is that? 20x squared. But everybody always forgets the x 
There's now two of them, right? Or a little x. And a plus. 12x, and again, if you, can, you don't need this middle step, but if you do, if it would help, shit, do it. So you can see better, you can see what you're multiplying, not just have to do it all in your head, if that helps, right? Nothing wrong with that. Okay. So what about number two? It's a little bit weird. kind of like reverse from what we're used to, right? But still, what would you do with this? Just draw it out. That one. So take a minute and do that. Don't say anything out loud. Everybody's got that sheet, right? You all have that? So you see how it's just three problems. It looks like one problem, but it's really three. Get what's 6a4 times 5a cubed? Yeah, 6 times 5 is 30. How many a's I got now? 7. Minus 42a to the fifth now, because there's an understood one there. Plus 12a4. Then you got no more a's. So it still only has four A's. Kick ass. That's a very cool way, again, I've said this before, but it's like part of this is I'm going to take every number and multiply by six. Bam, bam, bam. I'm going to take every A and give it four more. So it had three, now it's got seven. It had one, now it's got five. It had none, now it's got four A. Okay, maybe. How you guys do it's getting to the point in the semester where it's harder to read you guys because you're all like, oh, please, dear God. I don't want to react to anything. That's it right there. That's the answer. That is it. How do I know? I know there won't be like terms because there weren't like terms before. And since they all get the same thing, there's no way they can be like no. All right. And then the last one's more traditional. Tradition. So we got cubed. It's a little tiny freaking exponents, Jeff. So I'm going to triple everything. I'm going to give everybody two more y's. Just because I'm feeling generous. Triple is three. I had three y's and giving it two more. Now it's got five. Plus triple two. Give two more y's. I had one y, so now it's got three. And then triple negative four. It had no y's, so now it's got a couple. You don't have to look at it that way. You just multiply it, but it is. That is another way you can look at it. So that's distributive property. Normally, once you've seen it a few times, students kind of like it because it's there's not a lot to it, right? Okay. And so when we start doing, and we did the little box last time, and it's nice to see that at least once because you can see all the parts of the answer visually where they came from. Um, so now. I do this problem. How do I do it? What do I do? <laughs> yeah, sure. Double huh? Oh, that's interesting. So I have seen this little box thing where you put the two. Are you talking about that? Or are you talking about the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, so there's nothing fundamentally wrong with it. But to be honest, it ends up, you end up writing more. To be honest, you have to make the little box, you have to do it. When really, if you just look at it, if you were cool with doing this without any visual aids, you have to be cool with doing this without any visual aids. Why? Because if I had 2x, I would just distribute. If I had 1, I would just distribute. Well, so I'm going to do both because I got both. So what's 2x times 3x? 6x squared. 2x times 5? 1 times 3x? 1 times 5? 5. 6x squared plus, get out of there, 13x plus 5. The middle term very often will be like, but doesn't have to be. Just depending on what letters are in there. So that is what you call FOIL. Whatever gets you through. I want to show you some kind of cool, watch, 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 little side examples. What am I uncovering? Look, ooh, ooh. Sorry, I'll call them. This is calculus, kids. This little D means change. Change in Y over the change in X. That's slope. But that's what it looks like in calculus. Do it, calculus. Here are my kids. Right. Um, what was I gonna? I don't know what that was gonna be. Right now, it's just agreeable in Spanish. Um, yeah. What if I had to? Maybe it was this. Simplify. Uh, watch this. Forty-two times thirty-seven. I'm not saying you have to do this. I just want to show you this once. Isn't 42 40 plus 2? Yes. Isn't 37? You could do it a couple different ways. Let me do 40 minus 3. You could have done 30 plus 7, but I'm trying to keep my numbers small. Right? And then I could pull it up. Right? And then it's easier. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this kind of thing before. 40 times 40, 1600. Zero, zero. 40 times 3. 120, 2 times 40, 80, 2 times negative 3, yes, but a little bit. Have you guys ever seen this? So then 1600 minus that would be 1480, plus 80 minus 6 is 74, so then you get 1554, I think, that I did right? It looks right. That's all that matters, Jeff. Yes. Somebody check me. What is 42 times 37? Yeah, of course it is. Sorry. <laughs> no, but have you ever, do you see what I'm saying with this? Yeah. I know we got calculators. I know that shit. But if you had to do 18 times 25, you could do 10 plus 8 times 20 plus 5. It's a little bit quicker to do it. Or you could do it twice. So that's kind of, it's not the only reason this process exists, but that's a nice concrete thing to use it for. Okay. I just wish I could do math like that guy who can do it like it's just second nature to do it. Oh, it's just that one guy. Um, so do number two. or you got my email that next week we're in different rooms because the forecast is still calling for like around 90 degrees. Today it's 75 and it's just barely tolerable in here. I don't want to think about when it's freaking 90 out there. No dump machine. All right, so how's this go? Uh, 
Minus four bits. Any like terms? Bees. Side note. Um, I do this a lot. I know. What could be B? What could be B? Anything. It could be anything. <laughs> so let's say it was four. Why am I picking? Because I want to pick four. What could you pick? Anything. You could pick seven point two eight nine if you wanted to. Weirdo. If B was four, what's this number? Two. If B is four, what's this number? Twice four is eight minus three is five. You guys see that? See that? And two times five is ten. Didn't we say right here that this multiplies to be this? So if I make B four here, it better be freaking ten or something went wrong because we're claiming that these are the same. So this is kind of a way to check this if you wanted to. So if you make B four here, it'd be two times four squared minus seven times four plus six. 4 squared 16 twice is 32 minus 28 plus 6. 32 minus 20 is 4 plus 6. Damn! Yeah. It is cool. But at the same time, I'm not trying to take it anyway from how cool it is. Of course it's got to be true. Because we're saying that that is this. They are two different ways to write the same thing. So if I let B be something and that's a number, this better freaking be the same number or something went wrong. I like it. And what sucks about using this to check is very often somebody could do this wrong and they think they're wrong and they're actually right. So that's the thing about checking, you gotta be careful. You can make a mistake and you're checking. Shit. Okay. Uh, let's see. And there's one last one. Did we do that one? We did one like that one, right? Let me give you an example that's more interesting here. You guys do this. Oh yeah, true, 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 but we're not there yet. Yeah, I know. BA, that's right. Yeah. Anybody get something interesting happen? Kick yeah. ass. You should have a whole ton of shit cancel, right? So, uh, some of you guys, I know at least one of you know this, but some of you guys might realize this is related to factoring. Factoring is doing this, Backwards. And we know that. What's it mean to factor 18? Break it up into parts. All right. So this is, uh, so you get x. Cubit. So the x squared. Squared. Uh, x. And then I can start lining up some like terms. Like terms die, die. Minus four, seven. Yeah, yeah. So then you get x cubed minus 27. This is called a difference of cubes. Because 27 is 3 cubed. 
and x is x, x cubed is x cubed. It's amazing. So it's a difference of cubes. So if that doesn't mean anything to you right now, it will later. So I can always break up a, a, a cubes as a little dude, big dude. So later when I teach this factory method, I somehow incorporate the movie Pulp Fiction in. So that's a little teaser. If you've never seen Pulp Fiction, that doesn't mean anything to you at all. You should watch it. I never get the time to watch it. <laughs> Take the time. It's good. It's a good movie. The laugh is something new that gets his head blown off. It's great. Um, Isn't that the debuting movie for Samuel L. Jackson, too? No. There's plenty of stuff before that. No, I mean, like, one of his biggest, or the first one that really like, really cool. He's researching Sam Lowe. Well, right? that, that like relaunched his career though. Relaunch. He was, he yeah, was oh, a great okay, yeah. Relaunch. It was, it was like relaunch. Yeah. But not he, first for him. Yeah. He, he wasn't supposed to. He was, was like. Uh, I know he wasn't like a other people were like, don't do it. Don't do that role. It's, it's going to be. And then John Travolta came out of nowhere too yeah. with that one. Yeah. yeah. Really came back. And then All right. Down again. <laughs> I love it. If it's not the Beatles, it's something. Yeah. Um, okay. I brought this worksheet that I now don't really like too much. So here. Um, it's bad about the worksheet. Uh -huh. It's bad about the worksheet. It's so here, you guys do these couple of problems. Um, well, it really was just copied out of the book, so. Uh, What do you got to be careful about in that first one? Yeah, there's a minus coming there. What's in front of this guy? Like a one, right? So these parentheses are really not even necessary. So I can just take them away. Because one times anything leaves it alone. But here there's a negative one. So I get minus three. Minus two squared. Good, plus 7 in. And now that I've freed everybody up, they were all stuck in parentheses, now I've freed them up, now the like terms can get together. So this guy, this guy, this guy, yeah. And these are, oh, look at them. So then I get 3 in squared. Uh, 3 in squared. 
plus 3m. Plus 3m. Okay. So when you're adding, subtracting things, exponents will never change. They can't. Because they're based on multiplication. They can only change when you multiply or divide. This one, here's the quick wrong answer. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> right, so that's a quick way to just get you like, I'm gonna just get to the wrong answer quick. Save some time. So let me, let me show you why that's wrong. Um, what, is, what is nine squared? 81. 81. So anything that is nine squared has to be 81. But if you thought this was 16 plus 25, you guys see that? Do you get 81? Shit, no. So, I, why doesn't an exponent distribute here? Because what's the operation inside? Addition. Exponents are based on multiplication. They will not play well with addition then. So it's always going to be harder than you hope when there's things that aren't based on each other. Exponents, multiplication. That's freaking addition. Shit. So what does something squared mean? That thing times itself. What's it? See, this is missing the middle term, right? Same thing over here, if I were to do 16 plus 25, I'd have to also do plus 20 plus 20. Uh, that's gross. Why would you do that? I don't know. So here you do get x squared. You totally do. And then you get 2xy. And then you get 2xy. And then you do get 4y squared. You have to go back to what does it mean to square something? It means that thing times itself. So we just um, multiply the y's, 2y, and then add it to the x to. So do you have the same thing for x squared, right? Do it again, sir. Two, 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 two squared. Yeah, there is a and shortcut. Then, and then you there totally is. Yeah. There totally is. And the book actually teaches the shortcut. And I say, well, I say <laughs> f the shortcut because. No. Why make it a different problem? It's the same as any distribution problem. Right. Now, if you want to, you can learn the shortcut. Like Spencer's already piecing together what the shortcut is. But is that shortcut really necessary? No. In fact, if I do it this way, I'll reinforce how to freaking distribute correctly. Right? But, you know, like I said, the book actually shows you the shortcut. If you like it, you can use it. So here's a really yummy problem. Let's see. <laughs> I'm not going to give up on it. So you guys, okay. this one's kind of neat. I want to show you something about it. How the hell do you do this shit? Same thing. How many times do I write x plus 1 to do this? How many times? Now, I get people that start doing all these things all over like it's a football play. This guy goes here, this guy goes over here. <laughs> if I said multiply 2 times 7 times 6, nobody on the face of the earth can do all of them at once. I don't care who the shit you are, you've got to do 2 times 7, get a number, and then multiply it by 6. Some people can do it faster than others, but ain't nobody in the universe that could just go, boom, and get the answer. Just, you guys see what I'm saying? So how do I do this? Well, I take these two and get what they are, and then I multiply what I get by that. Oh. Students sort of get these unreasonable expectations of what they're supposed to be able to do. I'm like, no, no, you're not supposed to be able to do all three. It's impossible to keep track of everything. Do these two first, and this guy just sort of stays there. The same way this would be like 14 times, and he just stays there, and now you would do that. 
So do that one. Keep going. And then I want to show you something. Pascal's trying. Yeah, dude. I like that. I was hoping maybe somebody would know about it. At first it seems like a geek was just bored and just started putting numbers in. It's all like Fibonacci. You know Fibonacci? No? I was pushing my luck. You can't plug numbers in because I don't know what X is. I could plug in a number when I'm done to check what I got. And then you can pick whatever number you want to. Right? To check it. But to do this, I can't plug stuff in. So how do you do this piece? It would be x squared plus x plus another x. Is that cool? x and then x is 2x and then I got 1 times 1. Yep. And now you just bam, 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 bam. And so all three of these have to get their turn. That fan's not doing shit, huh? All right. Thank God next week we'll have they invented this thing called AC. We're going to have that next week in the other building. Uh, never heard of it. Especially when you That is so easy when your brain is starting to melt a little bit. So, what do you guys get? We get x, x cubed. What's that square? Now, this guy gets his turn. 2x squared plus 2x. And then the 1 gets its turn, so it'll just be x plus 1. And you like terms? Oh, yeah. Alright, so at least one of you guys know what I'm about to do. Watch, this is kind of cool. You put a 1 down. And you put a 1 and a 1 down. And then you put a 1 and a 1, but in the middle, what's 1 plus 1? Then you put a 1 and a 1. In the middle, what's 1 plus 2? What's 2 plus 1? That wasn't a trick question. What are the coefficients of my answer? 1, 3, 3, 1. What were the coefficients of the squared piece, this piece right there? 